Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we have a new ukulele tutorial. At ang tuturo ko sa inyo today is si Kawatako by Moira Del Torre and Jason Hernandez again. Kasi meron akong ginawang ukulele tutorial na to. Ilalagay ko sa description box yung link ng video na yun or dito sa may card. Pero yung version na yun kasi, yun yung feeling ko, yun yung pinaka-accurate. Yun nga lang, medyo hindi ko ata na-explain ng maayos yung strumming pattern. Pero, nung pinanood ko siya, parang okay naman eh. Hindi naman sa pagiging bias, pero in-explain ko naman doon kung sa ang chord ninyo i-apply yung gantong strumming pattern and all that. Pero, ayun nga, siguro merong mga hindi nakasunod at merong mga nahirapan talaga intindihin. To be honest, medyo magulo talaga siya. Especially kapag ka first time mong or beginner ka, tapos ganun yung mapapanood mong ano, mapapanood mong tutorial para mawiwindan ka, ba? Aminado naman ako na medyo magulo nga yung tutorial na yun. So, this time, gumawa ako ng bago at itong tutorial na to, ibang-iba siya doon kasi dito kailangan niyo ng kapo. So, yun, kasi hindi niyo kailangan ng kapo and this time, kailangan niyo ng kapo. Ilalagay niyo siya dito sa may fourth fret. Pwede rin actually sa third kung doon magmamatch yung voice niyo And yung mga chords na kailangan dito, apat or five lang ata at wala doon bar chords. So, yun yung maganda. At yung strumming pattern dito, very easy lang din. So, sana mag-gets ninyo and sana magustuhan nyo itong bagong ukulele tutorial natin ng Ikaw at Ako ni Jason and ni Moira. Ito rin yung ginamit sa Hello, Love, Goodbye. Goodbye? Hello, Love, Goodbye na movie ni Catherine and Alden. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, panoorin nyo na. Please, sobrang ganda niya. Sobrang worth it ng bayad ninyo. But before we start with our tutorial for today, in case you're new to this channel and if you're looking for ukulele tutorial, covers and random vlogs you've come to the right channel so click the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and mag shoutout din muna tayo may mga pa shoutout tayo ngayon shoutout to Jomel Ann Alcantara Jovelyn Ayag, Nicole Naduma and Kay Juliana hi and thank you so much for watching sa mga videos ko and sana magustuhan nyo yung bagong ukulele tutorial natin today so without further ado, if you still want to learn this song, then grab your ukulele and just keep on watching. Alright, so for this song, apat lang yung kailangan nating chords. Four basic chords lang. Pero you have to put a capo on the third fret or the fourth fret. Yeah. So let's start with a C major. Index finger on the first fret string, 3rd fret. Ayan. You can also use your middle finger or your ring finger. Next is an A minor. Dito naman siya sa may 4th string, sa may 2nd fret. Ayan. Next is F major. Index on the 2nd string, 1st fret, and then middle finger on the 4th string, 2nd fret. And for our last chord, G major. Index and middle finger on the 2nd fret, 1st string, and 3rd string. Tapos, ring finger sa may 2nd string ng 3rd fret. So, those are the chords. Yun lang yung mga kailangan natin. And now, let's move on with the intro and verse. So, para dito sa dalawang parts na to, actually, sa chorus din, halos may similarity sila sa chord progression. Pero, dito muna tayo sa intro and sa verse. So, dito sa dalawang parts na to, ang chord progression is C... A minor, F, and then G. And then you're going to repeat it twice. Twice the intro, twice the verse. And the strumming pattern that we're going to use, ito matutuha kayo dito sa strumming pattern kasi very easy lang yung ginawa ko dito. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Again, that's down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay? Down, down. Ganun lang kadali yung strumming pattern for the intro and the verse. Kung napanood ninyo yung una kong tutorial dito, nakakawindan talaga yung strumming pattern na ginawa ko dun. Kung ba kasi ginawa nyo? Anyway, so now let's try to play the intro and the verse.
the intro and the verse. Diba? Sobrang layo dun sa ginawa kong tutorial na nauna. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Let's, itatry ko lang na walang kapwa kung possible. Hindi talaga. Kailangan niya ng kapo. Masyado siya mataas. Masyado mataas yung original niya. Pwede rin sa third. Kung ayaw, kung masyado ka nang tataasan sa fourth, pwede rin sa third. Try natin second. Ayan, pwede rin sa second. Basta kung saan mag-match yung voice ninyo, yung range ng voice ninyo, dun kayo maglagay ng kapo. Pero, ayan, magsistick na lang ako sa fourth fret kasi yun ay nasimulan ko. So that's how I play the verse and the intro and now let's proceed naman with the free chorus. So, for the pre-chorus, medyo yung strumming pattern niya, baka malito na naman kayo kasi halos may similarity siya dun sa nauna kong tutorial. Pero, ito, mas madali siya. So, ang chord progression for the pre-chorus is F, G, and then C, F, and then G. Ito na, yung strumming pattern. Yung strumming pattern for the F and G chord is tatlong down and then up. Okay? One, two, three, up. And then, lipat ng chord. One, two, three, up. So, parang ganito, pag binilisan ko, ah. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. So, yung pre-chorus kasi, medyo mabilis talaga yung, ano niya, yung transition ng chords. Kung papakinggan niyo yung original song. So, for the F and G, tatlong down, isang up. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. And then for the C, F, and G, babalik na tayo sa strumming pattern na down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So now let's try to play the pre-chorus. Ang pag-asa. chorus and now let's proceed with the chorus part. So for the chorus, ang chord progression is C, A minor, F, and then G. Tapos you're going to repeat it twice and then F, tapos G. And then the strong pattern is kagaya lang sa intro and the verse. So that's down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So now let's try to play the chorus. And then after nun, you're just going to repeat the intro ng isang beses, kagaya ng ginawa ko dun sa sample. And then after nun, repeat, intro, second verse, pre-chorus, chorus ulit, and then isa pang instrumental part. Dun sa instrumental part na yun, you're just going to repeat the intro ng dalawang beses naman. And then outro. So for the outro, halos the same lang siya ng chord progression kagaya ng sa chorus. Pero dito sa outro, ang chord progression is C, A minor, F, G, tapos twice yon and then F, G, twice ulit, and then isang C. Tapos, ang strumming pattern dito sa outro, you can use down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, or single strum. Kasi yung sa cover na ginawa ko before, single strum yung ginawa ko sa outro. So, ganito naman yung outro when we try to play it using single strum. At yun, nandito na, palagi hawakan, iyong mga kamay.
So that's it for today's ukulele tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and sana may natutunan kayo. And if you did, huwag niyo kalimutang i-like at i-share sa mga friends ninyo na gusto rin matutunan niyo ikaw at ako ni Moira dahil sa Hello Love Goodbye. And of course, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe ka na. Follow me on my social media accounts and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!